welcome back to the 254 node where we speak on matters on cryptocurrencies and investing with the difference guys so i hope you had a lovely day guys i hope you are all well and safe and sound with your friends and your families so this evening i would like to speak on one project uh, a project which is dear to me and uh, i would like to share with you the reasons as to why i think that this is one of the projects which has a lot of promise in it guys the project has come from afar and uh, it has passed through a lot of controversies and uh, it has managed to come out and uh, prove the haters wrong so this project is none other than eos guys i would like to share with you guys my beliefs as to why eos is better is superior when it comes to smart contracts as co op compared to ethereum now, before you start hating on me i am not saying that ethereum is a bad uh, project uh, ethereum is actually an amazing project it has set the standards when it comes to smart contracts it is the granddaddy of smart contracts so at the end of the day it is an amazing project it has a great marketing team it has a very excellent an excellent uh, development uh, team and the community generally is amazing as you can see here recently uh, ethereum is planning on spending over 30 million dollars uh, in an upgrade the guys they're planning on building an ethereum 2.0 which is going to be better, faster, and uh, should theoretically scale up. You know, be something which uh, should be able to push Ethereum onto the next level and uh, be acceptable in the enter in the when when it comes to to the mainstream. That is, it can be able it will be able to make Ethereum capable of competing with legacy systems. Uh, such as uh, uh, such as PayPal, Mastercard, and Visa. Uh, that being said, I do believe EOS has a lot to offer. Yes, it's a little bit late to the party. Ethereum has the first uh, mover's advantage. It has it has the name behind it as well, so it has a lot to go for it. Uh, but at the end of the day, being an underdog, I do believe EOS. Has a lot to to gain by usurping Ethereum, and one of the reasons why I do uh, I am so bullish on this uh, idea is the fact that we know, guys, irrespective of how rosy your project might be, it doesn't matter how good it sounds as long as there is no adoption in the market, then your project is as good as dead. Yes, at the moment, Ethereum boasts of the highest number of uh, dApps running at the moment. But as we all know, quality will always triumph over quantity. So when we check under dapprader.com, guys, be, be prepared to be amazed. You will find some very, very, very interesting statistics over here. You can check them out by yourself and verify this information and uh, everything which i share with you guys here you can verify by yourself so when you check under dark radar uh, basically this website ranks the top uh, i believe the top 50 or so dubs which are currently being used in the market in terms of the activity and volume as you can see the top one two three four uh, five the top five dubs out of the top 10 dubs ranked on this website operate on the EOS blockchain that is amazing guys yes ethereum has the highest number of dubs but at the end of the day you can see that the most adoptable the ones which guys individuals are using the most on the internet run on EOS and that speaks volumes so the rest are spread across Tron, Ethereum as well as I do believe uh, IOSD 
so you can head over to dub raider and check this information for yourself guys i am not kidding at all so the next thing which i believe uh, makes uh, makes the case for for eos is uh, the fact that they have recently launched their rex platform well what is the rex platform as you may ask well the rex platform is a platform which enables developers to come on board the eos platform and borrow bandwidth for the the, the development of the dApps. well you see with the ethereum you have as a developer you have content with the paying gas fees these are the fees which you which you you pay for running your dApps on the on the ethereum blockchain on the on the on the on the eos blockchain on the other hand now you can borrow let's say for instance uh, your dub you need uh, roughly 50000 uh, uh, eos tokens to run your dub you can get the same same quantity of cpu power out of the 50000 uh, of the 50000 uh, eos tokens by just paying a, a, a fraction of that amount so say you might get uh, you might have to pay say 50 eos tokens for the same equivalent of 50000 this basically has made it easier uh, for the developers to 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 to, to program or rather to develop uh, to build up the uh, the enterprise solutions you know the dapps on top of the eos uh, network I'm not saying that uh, Ethereum uh, won't be coming up with uh, such a solution as we uh, as we know they are trying to move away from the from 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 the what what do they call this from the proof of work algorithm to the proof of stake which theoretically should make it easier to scale up speaking of scaling up at the moment Ethereum I do believe can handle a maximum of 15 13 to 15 transactions per second on the other hand eos can manage up to around 10,000 transactions per second which makes it faster and much easier easily adoptable well for the naysayers they always say that eos is centralized you know thanks to the 21 nodes which are currently being operated you know but at the end of the day you, when you check on the when you check on the mining mining groups you will find that the mining groups which are mining uh, ethereum you'll find that three of the largest uh, mining groups control more than 50 percent of the ethereum's uh, mining mining power so this basically doesn't make ethereum truly decentralized but hopefully ethereum 2.0 will fix that guys so the other reason why i do believe eos is a little bit better is the fact that recently the delegates uh, chose or rather they voted to ban i do believe uh, over 167 million dollars worth of eos tokens well this is in order to reduce the inflation guys from the current five percent to one percent uh, generally this will have the effect of uh, of uh, increasing the value of the eos tokens which are have remained and uh, this theoretically should make it more attractive to investors because at the end of the day we are all in it for not only the, the not only adoption but to also make money while while at it guys so this will make it very very attractive while we are on the subject of money I would also like to talk about the fact that at the moment Ethereum is beyond at the moment Ethereum is beyond majority of people's uh, uh, capability capability in terms of buying even a single Ethereum token currently Ethereum goes for around 200 and $67 at the time of recording this video and on the other hand EOS is only $7 guys and it has a lot of promise in the near future for those who may not be aware EOS had the largest ICO in history 
it ran for 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 a span i believe of around one year and raised over four billion us dollars so you can imagine that there won't be any issues when it comes to getting funds for research and development guys so there's a lot of promise to come on the eos blockchain but that doesn't mean that ethereum is sleeping it's not sleeping in the job ethereum is looking into implementing uh, i do believe uh, sharding as well as casper which uh, should make it uh, faster and uh, make it uh, much easier for developers to build up the build, build the dApps on top of the ethereum blockchain so guys that is it for me in full disclosure guys i own eos so i might tend to be a little bit biased but i do believe these are some of the good indications for what is to come for those of us who are invested in eos uh, in general so if you found any value in this video please consider sharing the video with your friends and family let's get the word out when it comes to cryptocurrencies and share the videos as much as possible if you want to support my channel guys consider subscribing leaving a like and a comment i would like to hear your thoughts which is better guys do you think eos is better do you think ripple is better or rather do you think uh, ethereum is better or cardano is better let's meet up on the comment section guys and let's have a little chat thank you so very much for watching my video and uh, catch you on the next one thank you so much